Well, it's senior day here in College Park. This is Wayne Viner, intern Mason Bruce Posner. Maryland falls to Ohio State 12-10, the last regular season home game. Bruce, what'd you make of it? Well, you will verify what I'm about to say. We were on the field for the senior day procession. Yep. And what did I say, Wayne? It might not be ready to play after this. And it's happened before. Uh, I harken back, I think, to Tillman's first year. Mm -hmm. there, was a, there was a big procession on senior day, and uh, I don't remember the circumstance, but he said, we're not ready to play yet. Mm -hmm. So what happens? It's three to nothing before you can breathe. And what's the final score? 12 to nine. 12 to 10. 12 to 10, rather. And first of all, what a mistake Ohio State made when they took that final goal to go up by three. Because they you saw what happened in the Villanova game. Could have just run it out there. Yeah, and they game's scored. over. It was no purpose in taking the goal. I right. will ask. And they almost let Maryland back in. They couldn't get a great shot off on the last possession. Nah, it, was a, it would take a miracle. Yeah, but there was a miracle last night, Navy and Syracuse. And yeah. Syracuse scores with one second left. Or Navy scores to beat Syracuse. Let's look at this game. Number one, Danny Mars kept us in the game. The shots that were poured upon him were ridiculous. They were almost point blank bullets mm -hmm. Mason how many he had to make five or six saves that were impossible yeah he's a, just really good as we say every week it seems to be when you get up close to him he gets even better but this defense you can start to see the frustration Bruce they're losing it a little bit NPS nonprofit services has the technology and know-how to achieve your nonprofit goals we have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877 797 8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. Yeah, well, again, second week in a row, wide open shot after wide open the, shot. The zone just doesn't rotate fast enough. It leaves people open in close. They figured out a way. They figured out a way. And offensively, Connor Kelly gave a big hit, and he's the one who got hurt early. I don't know if that affected him, but something didn't seem right. No, he still gets four goals. He's probably the best player in America, Bruce. I know, but it didn't seem right that day. And on top of it, all, but he gets swamped by uh it's a it's a mess now now i gotta play hopkins we get thrown into if they would lose to hopkins we get thrown into that three two mix where there could be you know five teams at three two it it's a mess yeah. it's a bit so what do you see next week for hop well next week it seems to be even tougher it's for the big 10 now and uh, is it for the big 10 is that can't rutgers also be three and one well, Maryland beat Rutgers, so we're ahead of them. It doesn't work that way oh. in the Big Ten. Regular season-wise, if it's a tie, it's a tie. So it could be Rutgers is going to tie either Hopkins or Maryland if Rutgers wins the next two games. Well, what do you well, think about the game, though? I think the game becomes – it's still a huge deal. If the weather's nice, they'll get however many Bruce It's already says. sold out. It's already sold out. It's 10,000 people. They're limiting it to that today, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just, I am sick. But you know what? I've been sicker. And yeah, but we've been in this position before. Well, this this uh, isn't that bad. It's just not as good as it could well, be. Well, it takes you from number one. It takes you from the best seed. Mm -hmm. It takes you from playing an easy game on the first Bruce, game. They it takes you from everything. They just weren't going to keep winning like this. It, it had to end. I'm happy it ended today. Rather than next week or in the tournament, John Tillman walking by on his way to the press conference. We have to catch up with him. Mason, got any closing words here? Yeah, it's not as bad as it seems right now. This team's still top 10. They're still going to the tournament. It's just they got to keep on fighting, and, you know, they'll be hyped up for next week. They'll hey, be look, ready. Look, let's say next week, you know, you're talking about next week with Hopkins, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, you got another game against either Ohio State or Rutgers mm -hmm. or Penn State. I'm it's, telling you, this Big Ten has got good. It, you saw it yesterday. Michigan takes Hopkins to the wire. Yep. All right, you know. we got to wrap this up. So from a slightly disappointed. Wait a minute, before you wrap it up, mm -hmm. thank you to Meyer Construction, Viner Four Gates for your sponsorship. And we'll get over this.
We are the national champions still. Still. All right, I think. And we'll get All another right. shot at that coming Isn't it up Isn't amazing soon? how exhilarated you are at that? And then all of a sudden you feel like, well, you do. I'm still happy. It was a good game. It's not over yet. We're going to have a heck of a run in the NCAA tournament. For Bruce Mason, this is Wayne Viner. Uh, we will head in the press conference, and we maybe. You think we'll see you at Johns Hopkins next week? Oh, you uh, bet. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, I don't miss that game for anything. All right. Uh, what a great bounce back it would be should they bounce back and win. All, all right. right. That would be All great. Right. We will see you on the radio Wednesday, 6 o'clock, 1300 CBS Sports Hopkins Radio. Hopkins Week.